Hey everyone, it's Cherry here. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my favorite Korean fashion inspired looks. From fun and casual to elegant and chic, I have you covered for a variety of occasions. I hope you enjoy this video and can get some inspirations out of it. This first outfit is the perfect party outfit. It's edgy, slightly daring, but feminine at the same time. I usually steer away from floral prints, but I couldn't resist this one because of the artistically messy floral design. To let the skirt stand out, I kept everything else simple and paired it with a long sleeved black crop top and these smooth black loafers. This next look is the ultimate schoolgirl look. On top, I'm wearing a standard black trench coat and underneath, I wore this beautiful electric blue one-piece dress. While I was in Korea, I noticed that a lot of girls dressed very cutely. And so whenever I think of Asian fashion, I always associate it with cute lacy pieces. I accessorized the look with a silver wing ear cuff. Normally, I wouldn't be this matchy-matchy with my outfits, but in this case, I love the contrast between the chunky spiked heels and the romantic lace dress. There's something about this tweed dress that makes me feel really classy and elegant. The contrasting patterns on the dress adds a really neat touch to this look. I wore sheer tights and a pair of classic black pointy heels, and I absolutely adore the gold plate detail on the front of the heels. Can't have a Korean fashion inspired look without showing off some legs. This fourth look is actually one of my favorites because it gives off a kind of majestic vibe. This white blouse has a really cute bow on the neckline and a detachable frill detail. I think these shorts really ramp up this outfit into something that looks really high fashion. To complete this bold look, I wore this awesome ear cuff and a bunch of big chunky bangles along with these super epic 6 inch wedges. This fifth look is great for those Monday school mornings when all you want to do is wear something comfy. I threw on a slouchy oversized sweater that is ridiculously soft. And just to spice it up, I wore a lace collar that has a really neat intricate floral detail. I kept the rest of the look simple by wearing a pair of black yoga pants and knee-high boots. And voila! Here you have the perfect equilibrium between comfort and style. If you're aiming for a more sophisticated yet still laid back school look, this is perfect for you. When in doubt, pick a sweater and a blouse. You can never go wrong with these basics. Something that I've noticed about Korean fashion is that teenagers are always sporting cute backpacks. And so I wore that and also to make this look a bit edgier, I wore pleather trousers and these awesome wedges. In this next look, I'm sporting the same pleather pants except in a more business casual way. Though not an office girl, I adore my white blouses. I wore this quilted clutch and peep toe heels with an adorable bow at the back. As for my outerwear, I am wearing these lovely quilted leather gloves and I added a pop of color to this monochrome look by wearing a bright yellow wool coat. If you haven't noticed by now, I love my business casual outfits. The short length of the dress definitely shows us some legs but still looks classy due to the long sleeves and pearl neckline. I especially love the kata at the back. I topped the look off with some soft pink accessories and baby pink heels. Then I held my hair up in a loose ponytail with this silver hair ring. So which outfit was your favorite? Leave a comment down below and let me know. For more glorious photos from my fashion shoot, check out my website. And here's a little snippet of me playing piano while wearing one of the outfits. If you want to hear more, I'll be posting on one of my social media platforms, which I haven't decided yet, but you'll be all set as long as you follow me on Instagram or like my Facebook page and all that stuff that you can find in the bottom description bar. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!